I never took a computer science class in high school, and I don't remember saying this, but my mom says that they had them at my school, but I didn't want to take them because I thought it would be full of boys. And when I got into undergrad, I signed up for an intro to computer science class. I didn't really know what to expect, but one thing I was not expecting was for the professor to be a woman, and it was. And I remember walking in that first day and just kind of being like, oh, that's really cool. And I think, you know, having a role model like that that I could look up to was really important for me. The CSE department at the University of California, San Diego, is working to be a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive environment. We have a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee with faculty, staff, and students. The world is becoming a smaller place where instead of people living in smaller communities with their families, with like-minded people, now we have people from multiple parts of the world coming together in some location and living together. And the greatest example of that is this great country, the United States of America, where it's a melting pot, as we call it. Now, to understand uh, multiple perspectives, it's important that multiple perspectives be represented in the conversation, in the decision-making process. And the best way to do that is to make sure that everybody who has the ability to contribute has access. We go out to conferences and we recruit students to apply to our programs who maybe don't get that kind of messaging from their undergraduate institutions, from their high schools, don't really necessarily think that UCSD is an option for them. Maybe it's too lofty in their minds. Engineers practice a profession that is supposed to provide improvements to everyone's lives. It makes absolutely no sense to me to limit the pool of talent that can contribute to these solutions. I've been in situations where I felt like I wasn't valued because I was the only woman in the room. I wanted to be a team leader for a project in one of my classes, and it was the very first day of class, so no one knew anything about us other than what we looked like in our names, but I was doubted. But after I stood up for myself, I did become leader, and we did great. And it was like a really great experience for me, and I think for the rest of the people on my team as well. But it was so easy for me to be like, oh, maybe they're right. Maybe that person would be better suited to the job, although all of us were complete strangers. There's a variety of studies that show, for example, women um, are talked over, or they don't feel as comfortable speaking up in a room when they're the only one or two in the room. So I think a lot of the things that we can do are seemingly small changes that will make a huge impact. You can go into an environment and encourage sort of behavior change, encourage an, a shift in awareness where I am going to make some small changes to my behavior when I enter the classroom. You know, if I'm teaching a course, I introduce myself, I give my pronouns. Very simple, very subtle thing, but it's a shift, a difference, something new. A sense of belonging is incredibly important and one way to nurture that is for students and faculty and staff to see themselves and one another. Representation matters. So when I walk around campus and our young students see me, do they think, wow, someone who looks like me. It is inspiring to have a woman of color in leadership. And there was one point in my career here where I wore my hair differently. I had my hair in braids. and. It was really amazing to see what a difference that made to young black girls. I never kind of realized how amazing it was to actually have a woman be at the front of the class and seeing the passion that she had really made me excited for theory, which is something that I've never really been passionate about myself. Different people with different backgrounds bring really different perspectives and they create a different culture that leads to different innovations and just different products, I think unless everybody's voice is at the table, you're probably missing some solution or some way that technology could really impact society for the better. I think diversity of people is basically diversity of thought. And if you don't have diversity of thought, that means you'll find a lot of people who tend to agree with you. And that is okay to a certain extent, but once you start finding people that agree with you, you start becoming blind to all the possibilities or the things you've gotten wrong. So I think diversity is important because you will always have people to tell you that you are wrong and 
tell you of their different perspectives because their background is just so different than yours. I grew up in Kenya for um, 18 years and I'm an international student here. The technology that we have in Kenya is extremely different from the technology that you know other first world countries have. Not everyone has access to the type of data like 4G, LTE that people have here. So most apps are light and have like very little data associated with them. The people who made that technology were able to make it because they had the experiences of having low data and wanting to do the same things that you can do in a country that has a lot of data. I've been here at UC San Diego 27 years, seen the university grow, but I haven't seen it grow to the kind of diversity we would like to have. Because this is a public institution, we work for the people of the state of California. California is a rich and diverse state, and I really look forward to a future where our university looks like the people of California. The university's entire strength derives from the diversity of the people and the ideas here. The only way that we can be sure we aren't leaving good ideas on the table is to make sure that we have people of as many different kinds of expertise and backgrounds and perspectives as possible engaged in the conversation. I love this department, this university. I want to see this department become an even greater department than it already is. And a key enabler to that aspiration is that for anybody in this, in this department or coming into this department that has talent, they should be able to, to see those talents realized. They should be able to make the, the most of their abilities. It is through diversity and inclusiveness that we can set the stage for creativity, for innovation, and ultimately for the highest levels of excellence. My name is Soren Lerner and I sit so that my two daughters can grow up in a world of endless possibilities and in a world where I hope they will not have to sit. I'm Ariana Mirion and I sit. I sit. I sit. I sit. I sit for opportunity. I sit for inclusion and equity and I sit for justice and compassion. So that everyone can have a strong role model they can relate to. So that one day, every student can look around their classroom and see people who are like them. As chancellor, I sit for equity, diversity, and inclusion for all of UC San Diego. I'm sitting with you today because I just can't stand it when my students don't have the opportunities they should have because of wrong thinking. I sit for every girl who, despite all of their achievements, still thinks that they don't belong in computer science. So that students who are unable to be here now can be here in the future because we need to be vocal about diversity. So that anyone who wants to be a part of you know, this wonderful thing can feel welcome, can contribute, and can succeed and thrive. Because I want the University of California to look like the people of California. I sit for my ancestors who could not, and I'm grateful that they opened doors for me to be able to sit here. I sit here today for LGBTQ inclusion in STEM. I'm sitting here to support the efforts of diversity, equity, and inclusion within the computer science and engineering field. For all the folks who have felt doubted throughout their career or who haven't felt like they could express themselves fully. To increase awareness about the importance of equity, diversity, and inclusion, not just in computer science and engineering, but wider STEM fields and human society in general because I want girls in STEM to really feel like they belong. I am Morao Gamba, and I sit for all the black girls who love to code. I sit for our youth, our future generations. I sit for the endless opportunities that they should and will have in the future because of the efforts that we're taking today.